Hello. In this session, we will look at an introduction to workspaces in uh, Terraform Cloud. Now, we have already discussed about your workspaces in Terraform, which is part of your CLI. Now, that is different when compared to the workspaces that we have in Terraform Cloud. So, working with Terraform involves managing your collections of infrastructure resources and most of the organizations manage many different collections of infrastructure. All right. So when run locally, Terraform manages each collection of infrastructure with a persistent working directory, which contains a configuration, state data and variable. So if you are going to make use of your uh, Terraform on your local machine, so ideally what we do is we maintain a different, different uh, working directory. Like for example, let's say one for uh, the VPC, then one for the EC2, one for the database. So depending on the infrastructure that you are creating, we will be maintaining different different working directory for that okay so on the local machine let's say we have directory one uh, within that we will be maintaining the configuration files likewise if you have uh, another set of infra that needs to be uh, set up we will be creating a separate directory and again within that we will have the necessary configuration files now this is on the local machine when we are running to a terraform locally now since terraform cli uses content from directory it runs in you can organize infrastructure resources into meaningful groups by keeping their configurations in separate directory so that is what we have been doing until now when we are using terraform locally on the local machine now in terraform cloud your uh, terraform manages the infrastructure by making use of workspaces instead of the directory so these are your logical directories that terraform cloud makes use of to differentiate between the infrastructure that we are going to create so in the terraform cloud we will be creating workspaces so let's say workspace one which will have the necessary configuration files to create the infrastructure likewise we will be maintaining another workspace for a different set of configuration files so this is same as what we were doing on the local machine it's just that on the terraform cloud we make use of workspaces instead of your uh, directories or the, the one that we were doing on the local machine all right so a workspace contains everything your terraform needs to manage the given collection of infrastructure and separate workspaces function like separate working directory so you can correlate these workspaces to the working directories that we have on the local machine so each of the workspaces will be managing different different set of infrastructure for us all right so terraform cloud workspace and the local working directories they both serve the same purpose but they store the data differently so you know if you are uh, work, working with the terraform the local machine we are making use of uh, making use of working directories and if you are working on terraform cloud we are making use of your workspace so both are doing the same thing for us depending on how we are going to make use of your terraform cloud However, there are some differences that you will need to understand when we talk about running a Terraform locally and then making use of your Terraform cloud. Now, when we talk about your local Terraform, all the configuration files will be stored on the local machine itself on the disk. But in terms of your Terraform cloud, we can make use of your version control system or we can upload it by making use of the CLI or the API. So basically, the configuration files will be uh, available on the Terraform cloud the variable values on the local terraform we maintain your dot tfvars file or we can pass it as cli arguments or we can maintain it in the environment in the terraform cloud we will be managing the variables in the respective workspace uh, the state file on the local terraform will be available on the local disk itself or we can make use of your remote backend on the terraform cloud the state file will be available in the respective workspace Credentials and uh, secrets, we can maintain it in the shell environments or entered at prompts if you're using Terraform on the local machine. And in terms of Terraform cloud, it will be in the workspace which will be stored as your variables and we can mark it as sensitive. Okay, so that's the difference that we have between your uh, Terraform running locally and Terraform cloud. So in addition to the basic Terraform content, Terraform cloud keeps some additional data for each workspace so it maintains the state versions for us so each workspace retains backups of its previous state file so it will maintain a history 
of the state files that we are um, uh, the infrastructure that we are creating on the terraform cloud so although only the current state is necessary for managing the resources the state history can be useful for tracking the change over a period of time or recovering if at all there is any problem so you know Generally, we just need the latest version of the state file whenever we are working with your Terraform. But there might be a case where uh, you may want to look back and see uh, what is the older version of your infrastructure. Or, you know, there was a problem with your current state file and you want to recover using the history or the older state file, we can make use of your state versions for that. It also maintains a run history. So when Terraform Cloud manages a workspace, Terraform runs. It retains a record of all the run activity, including summaries, logs, a reference to the changes that caused the run and user command. So basically it maintains a history of the run as to, you know, when did we run the plan? When did we apply? What is the action we have taken? It maintains a summary for us. It maintains all the logs for us. And we can also see which change caused the Terraform run to occur and what are the commands that we have passed as a user. So all of this information will be available in the Terraform workspace. So both Terraform Cloud and Terraform CLI have features called workspaces, but they function differently. So like I said, initially, the workspace that we discussed in the Terraform CLI is different than the workspace that we have in the Terraform Cloud. So Terraform Cloud workspaces are required. So these are mandatory, okay, Terraform Cloud workspaces. Uh, these workspaces, they represent all of the collections of infrastructure in an organization and they are also a major component of role-based access in Terraform Cloud. You can grant individual users and user groups the necessary permissions for one or more workspaces that dictate whether they can manage variables, perform runs, etc. So this workspace is what we use to isolate the different types of infrastructure and we can also use this workspace to give access to other people so that they can use the workspace to create the infrastructure so we can uh, give you know individual users the necessary access we can also give the groups the necessary access so that they can start working with the workspace in the terraform cloud now you cannot manage resources in the terraform cloud without creating at least one workspace so this is mandatory the workspace in the Terraform cloud is mandatory. Without a workspace, we cannot work. All right. So you will need to create a workspace only then you will be able to work with the Terraform cloud. So once again, workspace is simply differentiating between the resources that we are going to manage using Terraform cloud. But when we talk about the CLI, so the Terraform CLI workspaces are associated with a specific working directory and it helps you to isolate multiple state files within the same working directory okay so this lets you manage multiple groups of resources within a single configuration so if you are making use of your workspaces on the cli it is basically managing multiple copies or multiple state files within one single directory all right so like we have already seen an example for this as part of your terraform um, uh, workspace so this helps you to use one single configuration file to create multiple resources which will maintain multiple state files for us so the terraform cli does not require you to create cli workspaces so the workspaces on the terraform cli is not mandatory based on the use case you can create the workspace so that's basically an introduction to Terraform Cloud Workspaces. So once again, Terraform Cloud Workspaces are simply your logical directories which can be used to manage different, different types of infrastructure on the respective cloud platform. That's all for this uh, uh, session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.